as we speak to fix it. Fort Worth water crews have been here all day working to shut off the valves and clean up the mess caused by a large water main break that sent water rushing through these streets. A large water main broke on the corner of West Lancaster and Collier in downtown Fort Worth around 440 this morning, shooting water at least five feet into the air creating what looked like a river of water flowing through the streets. Actually, valving it down and shutting it off took us a little while because um, of the number of valves that are involved. Some surrounding buildings had no water this morning. Others lost water pressure for a few hours. But Cook Children's Child Study Center was the most impacted because they're located right next to the break. The break did result in a large amount of water flowing from the break and did enter into the Child Study Center. About 150 children with developmental delays attend classes here, but were not in the building at the time of the break. Due to the flooding and water being turned off in the building, classes were canceled here today. We won't resume until Monday. School just started this week. Everyone's gone home today and everyone is safe. They're using fans and dehumidifiers to dry everything out. While Fort Worth Water Department says there's actually been less water main breaks this summer than last summer, the dry weather and heat are likely a contributing factor. Most breaks, are, especially this time of year, are caused by either the, um, the ground shifting because it's so dry. We haven't had any rain. Uh, and pipes, especially the older cast iron ones, don't like that. Fort Worth Water says they haven't determined the exact cause of the water main break, but they do expect to have this line repaired and back in service sometime overnight. In downtown Fort Worth, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.